morning, Mr. Millennial. Good morning. Welcome to the mud hole. It's a mud hole. Are you ready to... Uh, Welcome back to the mud hole. <laughs> you ready to not be a plumber and be a mason? Sure. Is it still a mason if you're dry stacking blocks? That's a good question, actually. That we are leveling question. and shimming. We were getting really deep this morning. Mm. Actually, about six foot. <laughs> actually, that's exactly six All right. feet. All right. Enough of the bad jokes. We are going to attempt to build some retaining walls. All right, so here is the ultimate plan for today. These are the cubes we're using of choice. We actually kind of went through and tried to pick out some of the better ones. As you guys have pointed out plenty of times in the past, they are not the prettiest thing available, but they are the most cost-effective thing to do what we need to do. So we're going to, if you guys remember the demo videos, this ramp was really steep. We're gonna kind of try to stretch this out a little bit. We're also going to set these blocks back approximately six inches from right here that way if they want to come back in and put a veneer on these and print them up later at a later date they can do that as well so the first things we need to do this morning is basically excavate this out this is going to sit on a rock footer basically these cubes will sit on a rock footer and then there'll be a concrete ramp poured between them in the future the question is do we want to do both walls at the same time and work our way out or do one wall all the way out and then come back and match it with the other one. If we do both, I can keep it more square. If I can keep it more square? All I gotta do is Is it more back. square or squarer? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> square -er. square -er. <laughs> All right, well, we got the laser set up. What's this bottom run gonna be 14 feet? 14 feet out from the wall. Two, two six footers and a two footer, right? Correct. We're gonna put the six footer up against the wall so we can bridge the pipes. We purposely got all of our plumbing below what's gonna be the walls. So that shouldn't end up being an issue. All right. The footer's gonna be our first support point. Let's uh, see if the old 120 will fire up this morning. It's kind of cold, we had frost on everything. And now everything's dripping. Yeah, I know. Sun's coming out though, that's a good thing. You should have seen us yesterday trying to do plumbing. It was not hey, pretty at all. Mind you, I was here two hours in that before you ever showed up. Yeah, but mind you, nothing got done until I showed up. Whatever, I had that whole foundation. <laughs> oh, that's, we didn't video anything, so nobody knows about it. All right, come on, baby, fire up. Like clockwork. All right, get this first little footer dug here. This wall's gonna stair step twice coming up out of there. An inch starting to be an inch high about right there. Rest of it's good. the tooth marks a tick low top of it's about right well that dug out rather nicely and we eliminated some of our mud down there Good. you ready for a little bit of rock yeah 
Oh, look. Let's get, uh, get the old taco fired up this morning and grab us some rock. Come on, baby. Could have got you a little easier rock to shovel. Uh, Could have got you a little easier rock to shovel. Yeah. Oh well. Here we are. He had a little left from this side. It's the only reason why I went the full bucket. We got this side nice and level. All right, thanks, Jack. Everything's within half an oh, inch. Jerry, you want to know if we had anything to do, so it's time for him to get out of the house. Oh, boy. Start right there. right there and finish the bucket. Are you going to need more? The back side, but I'd only get a half a bucket. All right, guys, there it is. We got our rock footers in there. Looks pretty good. Basically, we're going to set two sixes and a two footer. 
it will come back across the top with the rest. These blocks have one side that's better than the other, which means we had to go down through here and cut the tongue off one side of three of them. That way they'll fit up against the house. Nice and neat. So let's start stacking some blocks and see what we get into. Oh my goodness, we roll in, we get a we got temples coming from both directions. Dinner time, wasn't it? It was dinner time. That's what I just done. It's time to go show beans now. <laughs> Around and a t -shirt. Matt's about ready to freeze to death, I wear. You was freezing this morning, Mister. We're not shivering. gonna talk about that. That was, that was so so four hours ago. <laughs> Sun's out. Sun's out. Guns out. Right? <laughs> yeah, it up. All right, here we go, folks. First couple are gonna be the slightly more difficult ones to set, I guess. Go walk fishing. Those three fit in there rather nicely. Let's hope the other side goes this way. Yeah, you want to go ahead and set the bottom row on this side before we come back and start setting the second row? I think so. Then I can bump and run and make sure we stay square. Make sure we stay square. We're going to have to shim these as we go up. I got some washers to shim them to keep them going up plumb and line up on the house. But um, all right, we'll uh, pop a six footer in here and go from there. We'll grab this one right here because it's quick and easy. Got to be a little bit of a stretch getting that first one in there. But 
to build more tonnage and should be able to handle. Trying to swing these blocks around and bring them into each other. Try to keep those faces as pretty as possible. First three block went pretty well. That one's actually rough side out, but I don't think much of it's gonna be seen, so we're gonna let her. Can't do anything about it. Let her slide so We're gonna start back in on the next round. We got our shims here to uh, level ourselves up. Let's uh, see what happens. You wanna take a bet on how many shims we need for the first one? I'm going three. Total or in one spot? Three here. It's the four footer, so it'll really, go. You're going six. Three tall, though. It's three. That's six. Three plus three. This one here will have to shim the opposite way. I haven't, that one there may not need to be shimmed. It looks halfway decent. This one here checked out pretty level. All right, so basically we'll have a four footer and then we'll have two sixes. But uh, let's set, let's get everything back here set. Both fours, both sixes, and then backfield? Yeah, that way as we start working our way out, we ain't gotta reach back over top of ourselves. That's great. Make sure I get these on the right sides. This mirror should go on the other side.
Ready? Which way did he go? Track in. Away from me. Up. Away from me. There you go. Hopefully, we still need more shims, don't we? spent the last 45 minutes shimming that last block i know these things are poured out of waste concrete but it is ridiculous how far off they are like three quarters of an inch at times yeah it was three quarters of an inch off one way it was three quarters of an inch off the other way next thing you know you're an inch and a half out and four foot but we're gonna go ahead and set this one up here on top and i'll get this wall to full height over here basically what we need to do set this down on there and then kind of figure out what what shim pack we need to make it work so and of course it spins the wrong way shim this way quite a bit this way yeah you want to go on the back side and i'll kind of hold it over other than that it looks halfway decent uh, other than that it looks halfway decent mr millennial it's not the most beautiful thing in the world but i think for what we're working with that actually looks very very sharp and can be made to look exceptional i mean this block's just literally got a bow in it and uh, you can see how much we've shimmed here to try to keep everything square as possible. I mean, <laughs> you can see the top of that box got almost like a half inch rolling hump in it. It's like their forms have just been beat to death over the years, so. All right. You think with price increases in today's world, they could afford new ones, huh? <laughs> you a little frustrated? 
No, not really. Just frustrated that they don't care about their oh, ball no. anymore. That's the problem. We try to build something else out of something that's absolute crap. But all right, we're gonna that wall there is pretty much as far as we can go. We're gonna get this wall stacked up uh, equally, and then we'll dig on back. So you guys see the stack that one? I'll check in with you there. We can extend these footers on back. All right, we got the other block set on the other side. That uh, that side actually went a little better than this side. So we're gonna take these footers back here. Get to this side. Now I want to get some more rock down here and keep on going. Hopefully this little next round goes a little better than our first round did. Got a pain in the butt. We're gonna dig this back kind of level. Get some rock down in there for our footing. Once we get the box set, I can reach down between them and we'll kind of slope that in a little bit. So. Still any more down? the distance you need? Uh, you want to check your distance? Oh, All right, to one side is done and ready for blocks. We're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. I already got rock in it. When you get rock in there, it'll be hard to get the skid steer up over the pile. A lot easier to do it before we dug this other trench. So let's get resituated and then we're gonna do it all over again. The main thing I want is to try to get some of that dirt out of the center, but I really don't know what our angle's gonna be. Until we get our block in there, so. I'm just going to leave that be for now. Alright, give us just a few minutes. We'll get this side to look like the other side and we'll be back to stack them up. Alright, Matt's getting the finishing touches on our second footer real quick while he's doing that. We're going to go get the Mac. It's dry enough. It's dried out enough. I think we can get it backed up right in here hopefully we can unload uh, straight off the trailer onto the wall so see if we can make it happen
think this is gonna work out quite well. Got the trailer backed up in here while I can reach them. Swing them straight down there, put them on the wall. Beats the heck out of uh, packing them across the yard with the skid steer. Let's go right here in front of you, then we'll switch over. On top or down low? This one's swinging around. You just want to set it over here? Yeah. Look, I can reach it from here? I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be riding the old seesaw here at some point. Oh, we're going to make it. Tap down a little bit, it'll be good. Let me get my precision adjusting tool out here. Yeah. One more. One more, one more. There you go. All right. All right, let us get this one here set. And then if we decide to do it yet today, we're going to have to. We're going to have to stretch ourselves out there to get that next one in line. It's a long ways down there from right here. All right, we are basically down to our last six blocks. We got the second course ran all the way out. That's basically going to be in the wall. This one here is ran all the way out. That's going to be in the wall. We're going to reach over here and try to grab these. Hopefully, they go in there pretty quick and fall into place. We don't have to shim them a whole lot, but uh, that's to be determined. the challenge So hopefully it's not a problem either. Brad's gonna have to spin this one around over his head though. Easy does it. Two we need, 
but these are the last the two we got so get these set and reevaluate and see where we need to be Leaning towards you quite a bit. Almost like you're sitting under up there. Yeah. Playing this block is going to be required to be shimmed quite a bit this way, which them shims are going to show. We put it over here, we put the shims on the back side, and nobody will see them, so we're going to see how she fits right here. I'm going, boss man. It's much better there, don't it? Good call. So that's as far as we can go today. We are basically two blocks short, which I should be able to snag from a lot and bring up here in the morning, but all in all, pretty happy with the way that turned out. Definitely gonna have a nice gentle slope down in there. And as for off, and as messed up as these blocks are, they actually stacked out pretty well. It took a lot of shimming and a lot of manipulating to get it that way, but we got them for sure. So I'm gonna grab a few extra blocks in the morning we're gonna head back down here we'll get those set get this ramp sloped in and get our backfill done and i think this will be ready for the concrete guys so we shall catch you all in the morning all right mr blino good morning morning farmer chris was holding out on this yesterday he had two blocks hiding in the weeds he didn't tell us about hitting the block with 30 others i know what the anyways you guys seen us sitting all these uh Blocks yesterday, we're not gonna bore you with setting those two. We're gonna go wham bam. Thank you, ma'am, in there. That's why I just I just named those blocks wham and bam. Wham, bam, yeah. Once we get that set, we're gonna get us a line. We don't have a chalk line. Somebody took it to their other project. Uh -huh. That was me. So uh, we're gonna just kind of stretch a string down through there. Basically, we're gonna get this uh, ramp graded in here, and then we're gonna be on the downhill slide to get the yeah. down bad jokes again. All right, let's get. As long get... as you don't do much whamming and bamming, <laughs> I think we'll be on. The Let me get whamming and bam set. Look, Matt came in here and cleaned all my windows this morning. Wasn't that I nice of him? One, I got to looking at the old windows and boy, is it a girl? What? What's a girl? I got to looking at the old girl and I said, you know, your windows ain't been wiped down for a while. I think I should give you a little Every time I wipe them down, I just smear the grease around and make it worse. Not this time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get these couple set and then we're gonna start building a ramp. All right, we got wham and bam set. They look good. I'm gonna sneak up here at the track hoe as tight as I can. Kind of rough this dirt out of here. Oh, and then I think we should be able to get the skid steer down through there. So here we go.
on my block, sir. Pretty nice. I think we need some rock before you do any more schmoogin'. Yes, it is. you guys can't see you got to take this corner and draw a straight angled line up to the top of this two foot block now keep in mind when you do that you can't have your dirt up here or you have no room for rock so we got to take it down a little further than what's needed and Mike will come in here and feather some rock in. He'll probably put some down in that hole first. And then he'll feather rock in across this, which will define that straight, when I say straight angled, right? It's not gonna go like this. It's gonna go from this point to that point and create the pitch for the slab to be poured on. Good, sir. This morning this is shaping up nice. Heck yeah. Nice consistent slope down through there. We got our drain all in. Got a good fall to it. I think this plan is gonna come together. I that's think we took about 40 degrees of slope out of the previous yeah. ramp. That's the good news. You want the bad news? What? I'm gonna leave you here to backfield. So I gotta go that's do not bad job, news. So. That means I don't have to deal with you. <laughs> all right, we'll be back a little bit later to check on. There it is guys, after it's all said and done, turned out really nice. Matt's got everything smoothed up there good. Got a good foot of rock all the way around the walls here. Got everything kind of worked up underneath that corner where it caved out a little bit. Got the uh, ramp all roughed in. This is pretty much what we're going to leave it at for now. Uh, Matt and his concrete crew are gonna come in, pour the pad to bottom, pour the ramp. 
We're also going to pour a cap on top of this wall. It'll overhang about an inch and a half or two inches. Come up kind of pretty up the top of this and tie everything together. An inch and a half overhang will kind of allow them, if they want to put a facing on that wall later, they can. It'll give a place for it to terminate. And that's also why we left the four inches on each side of the uh, actual wall down there. But all in all, it turned out pretty nice. I guess the real question will be, next time it rains, did we fix the basement basement leak? I think between the downspout drains being ran, the foundation drain being reworked and lowered, the tar on the wall, the addition of the rock, and the new pipe going over the hill, which we determined the old pipe was clogged. I think those three factors should keep the water outside of the basement, but uh, time will tell. But all in all, guys, really happy with the way it turned out. I think they will be too. It looks nice. Uh, after Matt's concrete crew gets done, and uh, get a rain or two on this and settle it a little bit. We'll probably come back at that point, pyrake everything out, and uh, make it look all nice and pretty. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give her a big old thumbs up. I want to make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. I'll consider subscribing. That way we can catch you on the next one. Later, guys.